Hello everyone, my name is Python GB and welcome back to another episode of Python's Realm. We're on the 31st episode, my friends. I want to thank you guys for the support you showed in the last episode and indeed for all of the tips you also left in the last episode regarding Duke Fish Realm being a complete butthole. So uh, yeah, I want to thank you guys for that. It's super, super appreciated. I'm always open to suggestions and feedback and it's, it is, uh, it's always very much appreciated. So honestly, guys, thank you so much for that. Oh, okay. But slightly in the lava there. <laughs> Alright, so what am I looking for right now? I'm looking for a little bit of water, you know what I'm saying? I want to get myself a little bit more obsidian. Uh, okay, there's a little bit of water right there. Might as well filter that down. I want to pick the stuff up, actually. Let me go ahead and... Uh, yeah, there we go. Hey, peoples! Get off me, bro. Alright, where's the rest of the water? There's a little bit over here. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, make that all go down. And we'll get this little bit to go down as well. Right, alright, cool. So yeah, we're just in the process of finishing a elevator, my friends, because it's about that time, my friends. We have had this semi-completed elevator for the longest time, and quite frankly, it is getting a little bit annoying, because getting down to the underworld is a bit of a chore. So, uh, yeah, here we go, my friends. We're just going to finish this thing off. You can see that we've already got the background to, like, near hell layer, and you can see on the mini-map as well, we are very, very almost there at this point, so might as well finish it off on camera. And, uh, yeah, in today's episode, we will We'll be continuing to try to take down Duke Fish Run, but we'll do that towards the end of the episode because there's something else I want to do in the meantime. I would like to try and get myself a couple more shadow chests, okay? Unfortunately, shadow chests are not craftable, which kind of sucks. It wouldn't, I wouldn't mind having them be craftable, to be honest. That'd be freaking sweet. But uh, yeah, the reason why I need a couple more shadow chests is because I'm going to be setting up chests, one for each of the bosses that has multiple drops. And uh, yeah, that, uh, that actually uh, tallies up to 20. The uh, the six regular chests here are going to have the pre-hard mode bosses that have multiple drops. The gold chests are going to be the hard mode bosses, which have multiple drops. And the shadow chests are actually going to be for events that have multiple drops. So uh, yeah, it is of course part of our main series objective to try and get every single rare item from every single boss slash event. So I think the time has come to actually, uh, you know, get that, get that thing started, you know. Start making our way towards these goals and getting them done. You know what I'm saying? It'd be pretty damn cool to get it done. So, yeah, man, we need to go ahead and uh, get some stuff out. Let me just uh, let me just grab this out real quick and uh, let's put our valuable stuffs in here. And uh, let's put you right there. Uh, really? C can you can you not, Mr. Serpent? I would appreciate you like not killing me and stuff. Let's put that away. That away. Get get off me. Oh God. Okay. Now there's a bunch of lava. Really? Who's killing freaking lava slimes and not telling me about it? How could you do that? That's so disrespectful. I know you're saving me and all that, but it's still disrespectful. You rude bot. Alright, here we go. Now, uh, what do we got? Bewitching table, put you away. Uh, obsidian, put you away. And the rest of it, I think I'm going to scrap. Uh, let's put these in here. Uh, the firefly can go in there too. Uh, and the rest of it, yeah, we can pretty much get rid of. Don't need that. We've got loads of them. So, yeah, everything else can uh, pretty much be chucked. And, yeah, that will make way for us finding some more shadow chest loot. And, indeed, the shadow chests themselves. I'm actually really not that fussed about what's in the shadow chests. So I just want the shadow chests themselves. So, we need to go ahead and uh, go to the unexplored parts of the underworld, which, of course, there is a lot of. And we still have our shadow key on us right here, which is awesome. So, yeah, let's go ahead and find ourselves a couple shadow chests. Hopefully, there's at least a couple in the world left. Hey, check it out, my friends. We found one of them. Oh, and bullseye. There's the second one right there. Holy crap. That's actually kind of awesome. <laughs> all right. Let's loot all of that. We've got ourselves a godly dark lance. That's kind of nice. Would have been uh, a lot more useful earlier in the series, perhaps, in uh, early hard mode. So, yeah, moving on. Oh, what the hell? There's a third one? Holy crap, dude. That's amazing. Well, it's always good to have spares. You know what they say. Uh oh, oh. I thought that guy was about to go in the lava for a minute. Look at this really weird house. It's literally just a box. There's no way in it or anything. <laughs> okay, kind of strange. Anyway, let's go into this one. We've got a second Sun Fury. It's a ruthless Sun Fury too. That's pretty interesting. And uh, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, we now have all of the shadow chests that I require. So we have got ourselves a grand total of 20 chests that we need to put down. We've got 21 on us. So yeah. And I'm thinking that the place we're going to put these is going to be in the desert base in the top center room that we haven't quite decorated yet. So, I don't know. I feel like that might be a pretty cool idea, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, let's just head up here real quick, do a little bit of quick stack action. Uh, oh, god freaking damn it. I quick stacked all of my chests away, didn't I? I am a freaking doofus. Fantastic. Good job. By then, you are 
the best at this game in the entire world. Except not really. I wish I was. That'd be amazing. <laughs> Uh, that place, as always, goes to Yuramir. But uh, anyway, uh, let's uh, head over here, grab out six of these chests. Uh, we need seven of these, and we could put one of these shadow chests away. And we are also going to be needing ourselves some uh, some sort of wall material, so mud block. M uh, we can make mud stone, right? Can we make mud walls? Is that something you can make? I have no idea. Right, okay, uh, let's have a look real quick. Uh, mudstone is made at a furnace, right? Yep, there it is. Okay, and then we can make ourselves some mudstone bricks out of that. Or not mudstone bricks, some uh, mudstone walls even. That's what I meant to say. Okay, so... Still at the furnace? Oh, there they are. Mudstone. Fantastic! There we go! Fan dabadozy, and then we'll get some regular stone walls as well to, to sort of mix in with them. Maybe a little bit of wood. I feel like that'd be a cool idea. Uh, five, six, seven, uh... Yeah, that seems decent, right? And then we'll use the rest of this. Oh, wow, we don't have a lot of wood, huh? All right, well, I need to get myself some more wood, apparently. Okay, cool. Right, I'm going to go ahead and uh, decorate the top center room of the desert base, and then we're going to place down these chests. I'm going to rename them all, and I'll take you through which things we're going to be starting to collect. All right, guys. So, check it out. I have managed to make a whole bunch of progress with regards to this top center room, and, well... As an entire project, this thing is now pretty much there. We've got a couple of chests to put in these little spaces here. And we've got this space to fill up here. But I've got an idea for that in just a sec. But for now, let's chuck down a bed. Let's chuck down a throne. Because, you know, that's just what you do. Uh, uh, wait, for real? This doesn't count as somewhere I can sleep? Dude, what the hell, man? Why does that not count? Uh, what if I put it down here? It doesn't... What? Why? Tell me why right now that doesn't work. I have no idea. Well, okay, I'm going to have to go ahead and do something real quick. And I think the thing I'm going to do is simply make this into a little sort of top room kind of deal. Eh, uh, I guess. What do you guys think? Should that work? I feel like it should work. All right, here we go. Can I do it now? Oh, there we go. Yeah, spawn point set. Huh, that was weird. But anyways, as you can see, I've got some little windows in down here with some uh, little clay pots with flowers in them with some uh, torches around it. And I thought what we do here is do like two massive windows like right next to each other. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, figure this thing out together. I'm using the chests as a little bit of a, a, a reference in terms of size. So let's see if we can't do something together here. Hmm. I'm, just, I'm, th I'm starting to think right now, actually, that what's going to happen is that the glass is going to be a bit too too wide, I guess. So let's do it like this. Okay. And we'll see how it goes. But we want to make sort of like mosaic style windows. I mean, it's not going to be like actual mosaic as in like multiple colors. But I want to ma make it mosaic in like an arch shape like you see in churches normally. You know what I'm saying? So uh, maybe what we do is go a little bit higher. Uh, there we go. And then we can start like making it sort of go centralized right there. Uh, yeah, that looks pretty decent, doesn't it? It looks proportionally correct as well, which I'm a big, big fan of. All right, so let's go and do the same over this side, of course, just to get it done. And then, yeah, we can uh, we can pretty much call this done. We need to get the, uh, the chest in, like I said. But aside from that, this is, in fact, done, and I'm very, very happy with it. So, yeah, okay, and um, boom. Yeah, there we go. Got some top windows. Uh, let's put some uh, torches in a similar formation as the ones below. It'd be nice if we got some more plant bars, but I have a limited amount of clay blocks, unfortunately. But anyways, you get the you get the general gist of what's going on here. It's like a big central room with uh, with things in it. We're probably going to put like trophies and all that kind of stuff in there as well. Uh, there's a couple of walls over here, in fact, that need filling in, and I think there's one over here as well. There we go. In fact, was that the reason why this wouldn't count? I think it may have been. Shall I go and check? Uh, let's put you down. Nope, still doesn't work. Well, okay, we're going to stick to this top room then, in which case, that is totally fine and dandy. I've got no issues with that. Sweet! Okay, so, in terms of the chests, if we head down here, we've got them all laid out. We've got pre-hard mode stuff on the brown row. We've got hard mode stuff on the yellow row. And we've got top tier solar, not solar stuff, <laughs> top tier invasion stuff at the top here. So, as you can see, King Slime, Eye of Cthulhu, Eater of Worlds. Queen Bee, Skeletron, and Wall of Flesh. We need to try and get every single drop from all of those bosses. Obviously, uh, we can't do the Brain of Cthulhu because we do not have Crimson on this world. 
Moving on to hard mode, we've got the Destroyer, we've got the Twins, we have Skeletron Prime, Plantera, Gollum, Duke Fishron, and Moon Lords right at the end there. And moving up to the top where we've got Goblin Army, you can of course get uh, weapons from this stuff. Uh, you've got the Old Ones Army, Solar Eclipse, Pirate Invasion, Pumpkin Moon, Frost Moon, and the Celestial Pillars. Uh, stuff like the Frost Legion I've left out because there's not really many, you know, interesting drops. So in terms of stuff we're going to try and farm out for, it is these 20 chests worth of stuff right here. So all of bosses and all of these events right here. These are the things we're going to be trying to farm for our main goal, or one of our main goals, which is to try and get every single rare mob drop from these uh, from these here stuffs that I've got laid out in the chests. So yeah, anyways, uh, yeah, things are looking good. We've got that room finished. I want to decorate just a tiny bit more before moving on. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and get on with that real quick and I'll be back in just a second. Alrighty guys, so the next thing we're going to do in today's episode is we are going to try to farm out for the possessed hatchet because you guys were correctly saying that it is a very good weapon against Duke Fisher and especially in third stage considering it homes in on enemies and is uh, and is something you could just continuously throw at him so I need to go ahead oh well holy crap well that was a holy quick fight wasn't it huh, awesome hey what the hell there's a room wizard down there man hey get out of it I'm about to get killed by a room wizard man that's embarrassing come on dude get out of here fool Y'all ain't taking my ass down. Come on, Room Wizard. Dude, how much health does that Room Wizard have? That's kind of crazy. All right, well, uh, yeah, we're going to pwn this guy's ass many times over until the point where we get ourselves a possessed hatchet because I would really like it. A ruthless one would be preferred, of course, for extra damage or something that would uh, increase its speed would also be super awesome, super handy dandy. So, yeah, let's go ahead and pwn this guy a couple times, maybe. Hey, there we go. <laughs> okay, he dropped the yellet, which is pretty interesting. There it is. Look at that. All right, and heat ray. Dang it, man. That's not exactly what we need, man. All right, we're going to need to continue farming out these lizard dudes real quick. And, uh, yeah, we'll see if we can't get a few more fights underway. What? There's a whoopee cushion on the floor. I didn't even notice that. I think his giblets are in the way, but, uh, yeah. This is, today's a good day. Today's a good day, folks. I've eaten a lot of beans, and this is really appropriate. <laughs> ah, Terraria. I love your gimmicky stuff, man. It's brilliant. <laughs> what? Jungle key. Have we opened the jungle chest yet? I don't think we have, have we? Yo, man, that's freaking dope as hell, man. That's amazing. That's so cool. Okay, right, where is it, though? Where's the jungle chest? I don't know if we, like, circled it or anything. Is it, like, down here or something? Uh, oh, hello, what's that? Jungle chest? Yo, I haven't done the jungle chest yet. Holy crap. I can't believe we just got the jungle key. I was not expecting that. Ha! <laughs> That's not too long after getting the whoopee cushion either, dudes. Okay, Terraria's luck seems to be on our side today, but not in the way that we're getting the uh, the weapon that we want, unfortunately. We haven't got ourselves the uh, the possessed hatchet just yet. We're still farming out for some more lizard power cells in the meantime, though, so let's get back to it. What is that? Something just dropped from that flying snake. Lizard egg? What? Oh, no, I've got to pick that up real quick. Uh, let me just suck away these seeds. Yo! Someone's a pet lizard. Oh, I need to put it on, right? Okay, uh, boom. Yo! I don't think I've ever had this before, man. That is sick. Holy crap, we are continuing on with our epic drops. I didn't even know this was a pet, dude. This is legitimately the first time I've ever had it. Holy crap. Okay, so you get it from the flying snake dudes. What's the thing called? A lizard egg. That is freaking epic. <laughs> oh, check it out. We've got ourselves two lizard power cells on the floor as well. Boom. Sweet. All right, time for some more fights. <gasps> Guys, there it is. Possessed hatchet. Holy crap. I had to defeat Gollum a lot of times. I literally did lose count, but I'm pretty sure we took him down more than a double digits amount of time. So 10 or more is definitely the amount we took down. Before we got this little baby right here. Holy crap, there it is. 104 melee damage, and that is without a modifier. That is pretty damn badass, it has to be said. Holy crap, I can't even pick up all of this other stuff, and my piggy bank is, in fact, pretty much full, as you can see. In fact, it is full. We've nearly got 10 platinum coins now as well, which is kind of ridiculous. So, uh, yeah. Things have gone well. Things have gone well. Right, now to find the goblin tinkerer. Where he may be is another matter. He's on the right-hand side of our desert base right here. Hello there, buddy. All right, so you're going to give me uh, 
I don't know, legendary would be kind of cool. Superior is kind of nice. I wouldn't mind something with speed on it. Uh, damage, wow, that's kind of nice. Ooh, we've got a decent amount of money to spend on this thing. So here we go, zealous, forceful, demonic again. Godly is very good. Look at that. Awesome, man. Can you get speed modifiers on a possessed hatchet? I didn't see a single speed modifier so far. So I'm going to go with the uh, theory that no, we can't get speed modifiers on it. In which case, I may have just wasted a whole bunch of money. Which is, you know, that's just like me, isn't it? <laughs> Alright, so let's sell that, sell that, sell that, sell that. Uh, Philosopher's Stone, we've already got one. I mean, we'll sell this, this. Uh, Skiff's Blood, we've already got that. Don't need it again. Uh, we'll put the rest of this. I mean, just look at the amount of stuff we've got. We've got a Sunstone, which is kind of cool. We've got a second Lizard Egg. That should just be like a testament to just how long I was spending down in that damn place. So, yeah, all right. Uh, but aside from that, I think that might be just about it. I mean, I'll sell this shiny stone as well. Uh, there you go, buddy. And let's stack up our money. There you go. All right, it's still got seven platinum coins, which is very, very nice, of course. We are now going to go ahead and prepare to take down Duke Fishman once again. We're using this thing in third stage, okay? So when he gets to his CP stage, we're going to go ahead and use the Possessed Hatchet. But on his first and second stage, we are going to be using the Scourge of the Corrupted. Because in my opinion, it'll just be a good idea. So, yeah, let me organize my stuff, make some potions, and I'll meet you guys by the ocean. Aha! So here we go, my friends. Another thing you guys were saying is we should go ahead and get some decent wings. Beta wings are apparently better than the uh, than the developer wings, Senex's wings, because they've actually got slightly more speed to them. So, yeah, I think that'd be a cool idea. Thank you very much for your suggestions for that. Very much appreciated. But in the meantime, let me go ahead and uh, get some reforging done, get some potions paid, and again, I'll meet you guys over by the ocean. Hey, look at that, my friends. Warding beetle wings. Amazing. Very happy with that. Are you for real right now? Come on, dude. I'm just about to take down Duke Fishron. The blooming game gives me a goddamn solar eclipse. Oh, for goodness sake, man. This isn't cool. I need to get this episode out on time, and this is just going to drag it out, man. Ugh. I am so tempted to go on another world, get a blooming, uh, what's it called? Oh, what's that blooming thing called? The sundial thing and just skip the day, man. Because I really do not want to be dealing with this right now. Like, for real. I just don't want to do it. <laughs> <sighs> Alright. Well, I'm going to go ahead and get on with it. If this episode goes out late, then you know why. It's the solar eclipse. Oh, I'll tell you something. Late in game, solar eclipses just become a major pain in the ass. Like, they really do. So... Yeah, anyway, let's skip it. Let's get back to you guys, and we'll take down Duke Fish on. Alrighty, guys, so the solar eclipse has passed. I put the stuff away that I managed to get from it, and now, ladies and gentlemen, the time has come. We've got potions, we've got stuff going, and basically, we're just going to go ahead and get on with this thing. So let me go ahead and uh, chuck a couple of these down as a preliminary measure. Let's chuck that in there. Let's buff up right now. Boom! Alright, the time has come. Here we go, my friends. Let's see how we do against Duke Fishron. As we know, we need to get ourselves into a little bit of a rhythm with this guy. So if I can, like, avoid his initial attacks while he's dashing around, then, uh, you know, this is where we're going to be doing the damage. All right. So, as I mentioned, first and second stage, we're sticking... Oh, God, I've got an itch. Holy crap. Face. Don't itch right now, man. That's really bad. Okay. But anyways, uh, yeah, like I was saying, first and second stage, we're going to stick with the Scourge of the Corruptor because, quite frankly, it is the weapon to use. And then sec uh, third stage, even, we will switch to the Possessed Hatchet and we'll see how we do. Hopefully, it'll be enough to take this poor sap down. I mean, he's not really a poor sap. He's a, he's a butthole sap. The amount of times he's killed me is freaking annoying. All right. Ah! Looking good. Ha! Ah! Looking good. All right. Nice one. Nicely avoided. All right, man. We still got maximum health, which is fantastic. If we can keep that up, that'll be brilliant. Come on. Keep it going, son. I got faith. We've got two deadly sphere dudes going after him as well, which is always good. Now, one thing I am, of course, aware of is the fact that I have not got Master Ninja gear. Because, you know, again, I've got a limited amount of time, so I don't really want to farm for it today. Uh, if we fail this time, then, uh, yeah, we will definitely make an effort to get the stuff, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah. All right, let's get ourselves going in the meantime there, my friends. I've got, a, I've got a good feeling about this run. I've got a good feeling. I mean, I'm not feeling too panicky right... Oh, hello. He's in second stage now, folks. Here he goes. Here he goes. Okay. Now's where things get interesting. One of the other suggestions you guys said was to have the platforms be proper blocks instead. So the Scourge of the Corrupted Dudes can, uh, you know, go ahead 
and uh, reflect off it and go ahead and, you know, home in on the dude. I think that's a pretty cool idea. Could be something to do in future. And the other suggestion, of course, is to put asphalt down, which is, again, a very good idea because, you know, it means that we'll be able to, you know, run a lot faster and thus our agility is very much increased, which is very, very cool. All right, keep it going, son. Here we go. Keep it going. Ah, you up. Hey! Nice! Come on, man! I got a really good feeling about this one. I really do. Like, legit. Oh, hold on, hold on. Oh, we lost our rhythm there because my uh, wings ran out there. Okay, cool. Well, actually, not cool. Not really, let's be honest. Alright, let's keep going. I've still got faith. That was a big nado at the game right there. That was a decent amount of health he just took off there. Okay, right, now then, you guys were saying to look at the mini-map for the third stage as well, and that is exactly what we're going to be going ahead and doing. So, oh boy, it's not going to be long now. And there we go. All right, now to watch the map. We watch the map now, and we get health back. Come on. All right, he's coming from there. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, coming from the top left. Watching the map. I'm literally just watching the map like a goddamn hawk right now, dude. I'm watching the map like a whore. It, I don't think it's enough, man. I don't think it's enough. We're gonna die again. We're gonna die again. It's third stage. I can't do third stage, man. It's ridiculous. It's third stage. Oh, my God. No! <sighs> Did anyone see how much health he had? Oh. <sighs> All right. All right. That's it. We're doing it, man. I'm not, I'm not even going to do it on camera. Between this episode and next one, I'm getting a goddamn asphalt platform put down. I'm going to go out and goddamn farm out for a freaking Master Ninja Gear. Because this is just unacceptable now. Bloody Duke Fish are taking me down too many times now. And it's really starting to annoy me. So anyways, guys. I want to thank you guys for watching again. I really don't like ending on fails. But, you know... Terraria and Duke Fish run like to be buttholes. So that is great. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Ugh, well, I can't really reg too much. It's my own bad. I just don't have the gear, man. Ugh. Man, sometimes I legitimately regret going into expert mode for this series sometimes. It is such, and I mean in capital letters, it is such a grind. Late game. It is ridiculous. Ridiculous. It really is. It's so grindy and thus it gets very very boring as well Which is why as a matter of fact this epi these episodes have not been going up very often I've been trying to come up with a motivation just to play this series man because it is such a pain It really is expert mode is a massive pain. So yeah It's a pain. It is rewarding for holy goddamn is it a pain? So yeah, anyways guys, if you did enjoy the episode, do of course be sure to drop a like rating, it'll be super appreciated. And of course you can subscribe if you want to know when the future videos are out. But thank you very much for watching my friends, your support as always has been super appreciated. And I'll see you guys in the next one.